Good morning everyone. May I love shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. Welcome back to our new school year 2023-2024. And uh, before anything else, please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments on this channel on whatever topic that or our lessons that uh, is not clear to you, you know? so pag medyo mahirap at uh, hindi nyo maintindihan please um, feel free to leave a message and I will answer all your questions okay so our lesson for today is about the properties of real number and it's about commutative, associative and identity for example so of course when we say real numbers so we'll discuss it later okay so as we continue on the next page okay and this is your teacher Marie Fredonis again welcome back all right so first we need to discuss about um, commutative property okay, or commutative properties right so changing the order of the numbers in addition or multiplication will not change the result like in commutative property of addition states that like for example 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 or a plus b is equal to b plus a so pag binaligtad lang natin same result, no? Just like in multiplication property or the commutative property of multiplication states that uh, 4 times 5 equals 5 times 4 or AB is equals to BA. Okay? Now let's have a associative properties. Changing the groupings of numbers in addition or multiplication will not change the result, okay? Now, for example, now, so we, we have here the A, B, E, A, or the associative property of uh, addition states that like this. So, we have group, no, 3 plus, uh, 3 plus 5 is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5. So, even though we change the groupings, no, the answer is still the same. And also with the uh, multiplication, the same, no? Like uh, 2 times 3 times 4, or we regroup them, the same answer is a uh, given. Okay? Alright, next, let's forward. So we have additive identity property. Now, there exists a unique number 0 such that 0 preserves identities under addition, okay? So, um, the addition property of, or the additive identity property is, of, is uh, 0, no? So, a plus 0 is equals to a, or 0 plus a is equals to 0. So, that means, uh, so, uh, addition, the additive uh, of 0 is equal to itself. Now, in other words, adding 0 to a number does not change its value. So, hindi yun nagbabago. What about in a multiplicative identity property? There exists a unique number 1, so that a number 1 preserves identities under multiplication. So, here, any number that is multiplied by 1 is a number itself. Like, A times 1 is equals to A, and 1 times A is equals to A. In other words, multiplying numbers by 1 does not change the value of the given number. Okay? So, let us play... Name that property. Okay, so we have your state the property or properties that justify the following. 3 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 3. The answer is commutative property. Okay, state the property of properties that justify the following. So we have 3 plus, and then close and up in this parenthesis, 4 plus 5 is equal to 3 plus 4. So the answer is as 
social tip property. Next, state the property or the property. So 5 plus 2 close an open parenthesis plus 9 is equal to 2 plus 5 plus 9. It is mm, commutative property. Now let's say some example. Which property is this? Okay, so we have we have grouping here. What do you think is the answer? It is. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It is associative property of addition. Okay, next number two. Which property? Three plus seven is equal to seven plus three. Okay, of course the answer is. Commutative property of addition. Great. Next. Which property is this? 8 plus 0 is equal to 8. It is uh, identity property of addition. Next. Which property is this? 6 times 4 is equal to 4 times 6. What do you think? <laughs> it is... Commutative property of multiplication. Okay, so I hope you you learned from our lesson today. No, it's not the end. Yet, no. Okay, so perhaps you already um, memorize or recall some of our you know of our properties of a for real numbers. So this time we're going to add distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction. Okay. Now we have here um, the multiplication uh, distribute uh, distributes over addition and subtraction. Like here we have um, a, B, or A times B, and A times B. So that's why you have A, B, E times B plus A times C. For example, we have 7 times 5 plus 3. So we distribute, but that will be uh, 7 times 5 plus 7 times 3. And that is 35 plus 21, which is equal to 56. Now, the same thing also if we are going to subtract. Now, so distribute also. So, you have five di uh, 7 times 5 minus 7 times 3. That is 35 minus 21. That is equal to 14. Alright. So, we have another here. We have inverse property of addition. Okay. Here... Uh, the sum of a number and its additive inverse or the opposite you know, is the identity element of 0 and a, a and negative a are additive inverses. Like a plus negative a is equal to negative a plus 1 plus a that is equal to 0. Example, uh, 12 plus uh, minus 12 equals 0. Next, we have inverse property of multiplication. The product of a number and its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is the identity element. 1 times a and 1 over a are multiplicative inverses. Like here, so a times 1 over a is equal to 1 and 1 over a times a is equal to 1. So, provided that a is not equal to 0. For example, 12 times 1 over 12 is equal to 1. Okay, so you just cancel this out, you know. So, it's answer is 1. Alright. Okay, so we have here uh, for our turn now, 
try to take note of this we all know who the real number one number one is quite frankly i'm the best in the world okay so from serena if you know if you know serena williams is a famous um, badminton player you know, so she's number one well but uh are you considering yourself number one in one as in what aspect try to call our answers and write it in your journal notebook and be happy to start this number one okay so welcome again guys and to all my supporters uh, the supporters of this channel uh,